This is an aircraft that we're experimenting with in Canberra UAV. Um, it's a model of an aircraft design put together by Jack Pittar and uh, uh, James Patterson. And so the aircraft is a TVBS, but it's a rather larger scale TVBS than um, uh, has been commonly used in the IG pilot community. And if I just zoom in on this a little bit, you'll see the way it's arranged. It's got two four-bladed propellers and it's got control over the pitch of the propellers. So that's full pitch, which is 30 degrees, and that's back 10 degrees. So we can adjust that in flight. Currently, the pitch control is not automatic. The pitch control is manually on a knob on the transmitter. But uh, if this is a successful design, then we can certainly arrange for the, uh, the prop pitch to be automatic. So I'll just do a, a quick takeoff on this and uh, show you a bit about what it's like uh, to fly. So it's in Q hover mode uh, with RG pilot in control. And uh, I've just armed it and now we'll do a takeoff. There it is, taking, not taken off. I'll just bring it over a little bit closer and bring it down a little bit closer to the pilot. All right, so um, now there's a few things to note about this aircraft. First of all, when I turn it around here, you'll notice that the propellers are at a big uh, angle. Now, that's not because I've forgotten to make uh, one propeller clockwise, the other counterclockwise, or that's certainly what it looks like. There seems to be a problem in the physics model in real flight. And that's something that I've posted a question about in the real, in the Knife Edge forums, because uh, it's behaving as though both of the propellers are turning the same direction, but I've confirmed inside the physics model uh, that they are in fact turning in opposite directions. And even when I have the model on the ground and I spin up the propellers individually, they are turning in the correct opposite directions. Um, so what we're seeing now, at the moment it's at a minimum pitch, so we've got a minimum pitch on the propellers and it's drawing, you can see in the top right corner there, about 50 amps. Uh, that current uh, reading you get in the top right corner here, that is per motor. And so it's actually about 100 amps total, which is more than we really want, but it's about the best we've been able to do so far. So we're looking at different motor, propeller, battery, etc., powertrain combinations to try to uh, get this into a more reasonable range. Now, if I change the pitch, so I'm going to raise the pitch on the propeller here, then what you'll see is that to achieve stable hover, the RPM drops, and you can hear the note of the engine dropping, but the current draw rises considerably. So uh, the lower pitch prop is much more efficient for hover. You can see that at full pitch, it's about 100 amps per motor at 30 degrees pitch. And if I drop it back to, uh, it's obviously running very inefficiently, drop it back to 10 degrees pitch and it drops back to about 50 amps. All right, so let's take it up a little bit and do a transition to forward flight. So go to fly by wire A mode. And there it is in fixed wing mode. Now you'll hear the, the motors uh, as they unload, the, um, the RPM really shoots up. So we've now got about 4,500 RPM, but it's not actually moving very fast. That's because it's still got very low pitch on the propellers. So just watch that RPM number in the top right corner, about 4,500 RPM and doing about 60 kilometers an hour and drawing about uh, 48 amps. Now what I'm going to do is raise the pitch of the propeller. And you can hear the note of the engine changing as I raise the pitch. And as the pitch, that's now at full 30 degrees pitch on the propeller. And you can see it's now more than doubled its speed. It's now doing 140 kilometers an hour. And the RPM has dropped. And uh, the current draw, it's a, it's a high current draw, about 140 amps at full speed. If I drop it back to more of our target speed, we're targeting about 100 kilometers an hour. Um, so let's see around there and you can see at that point it's drawing about 80 odd amps per motor so that's still far too much current draw for what we want to achieve 
but uh, at least this gives us a platform to play around. So what I'll do is I'll just bring it in and transition it back to vertical flight to show a, a backwards transition. And back to hover there now. And there it is hovering. And I'll lower the pitch on the propellers so that it's uh, a little bit happier. So that's down to minimum pitch now. And we can bring it down. And bring it back over the runway. Up oh, a little bit early on the grass. That's all right. And I'll tell it to land there. Great. All right. So there's a, a test aircraft. We've got a lot of work to do on the powertrain to work out the appropriate motor, propeller, battery setup, etc. Um, uh, for the basic specs of the aircraft, I'll just pop into the aircraft editor. And uh, you can see that the, uh, the size of the aircraft, it's uh, three meters in wingspan. And um, the total weight of the airframe, uh, including the batteries, is 8.9 kilograms. And uh, you can see that the motor we've got on it, where I've uh, got a Hengli W6340, a 230 kV motor with variable pitch four blade propellers. And uh, we're running a battery um, 6S with eight batteries in parallel, each of them five amp hour. So uh, happy flying from Canberra UAV.